So one of the things I have to do as a part of my way of making a living is going into communities and talking to people about technology. And when I give my technology tips and techniques presentations, which I've done most of my adult life as a displaced executive, I can tell you that people in the community just don't get how networks work. You see, there is a computer network, there's a telecommunication network, there's a phone network that produces everything that you're dealing with in the daily aspect of your life of using a telephone or a computer. And let's face it, in order to get jobs today, in order to be employed today, we have to be technologically savvy. So what we do in our marketing events, and literally called the Business Strategy and Technology Forum, is that we talk about marketing tips for your business or for your personal brand, your profession, or even your job if you're not, if you're employed with someone else. But the reality is what we also talk about is technology. What people need to understand is that cell phone technology is something that's utilized across the satellite network. That satellite in the sky is a million dollar piece of technology, which means only somebody who's a really huge company could own something like that, and more importantly, I guarantee you, they're owned by the military. So whatever the fuck you're texting to your girlfriends and guy friends, be clear that there is some technologist literally working on a warship that's seeing your text messages, especially if you're spewing hate and disparaging people like me. The fact that you think you can move through the community freely without being seen is 100% bullshit. Every cell phone, everywhere has a couple codes in it. One code is to the actual cell phone, which we call an EIE number, and another code within it, I'm not going to tell you about it, literally tracks the phone. So if you have stolen cell phones from people, if you're the monstrous asshole that took my Samsung and has been fucking around on my computer, or if you're the one who got a hold of my iPad after I turned it in to check to test it, an Apple store for why the fuck I was being constantly filled, um, uh, constantly uh, and maliciously mobbed underneath human rights laws violations, I can tell you that the world of technology is coming crashing down around your life. What that means is that someone in the military, some person who's been trained to monitor cell phone uh, texting and other things in terms of telephones on different languages across this, this American state, this American land, is listening to you, watching you, and is understanding you. And just because you're getting away with a few things doesn't mean you're going to get away with it your whole life. It literally means that they're trying to give you enough rope to hang yourself so that they can take you under oath by federal law telling you that you just failed your whole fucking life. If you are participating in computer crime, if you're participating in cyber crime, if you're participating illegally and immorally in identity theft and creating fraud by pretending to be someone who you are not, you will end up in jail, perhaps prison, for violating federal law on privacy laws, on medical rights laws, on financial uh, advising laws, and I don't know how, what they're called exactly, fiduciary laws I think it is, on mobility laws, on civil rights laws, and on people rights laws. But most importantly, you have failed to recognize your duties and your responsibilities as an American citizen, which is to not spew hate, not to produce treason, and not to produce tyranny in the land. 